Here you go, Tyson. Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here on the front porch, having my coffee again today because it's raining again. It's going to rain all day. In fact, it's going to be raining for the next, well, until Saturday. So, I had a rough night last night. First, I'll just go ahead and tell you that I developed a bad rash and I thought, oh my gosh, it's, it's the bug spray, but no. Anywhere where I had sprayed the bug spray, it's, I don't have the rash. I had put on a new t-shirt. I had got off Amazon, a little pocket t-shirt, um, dark blue. And by the end of the day, I had broken out in a rash anywhere where the t-shirt came in contact with my skin. It's not where my bra is, um, where my pants started, that's where the rash stopped, but it is all over the front of me, all over my arms to about right here, all over my back, and all over my belly, and it looks like this. It's everywhere. It is, I don't even know if you can see that, but it's like red raised bumps. It's actually a little, a little bit better today. It's like having a sunburn. You know, it's kind of like a reverse sunburn, so you go out in the sun with a t-shirt that goes to here and you get really super sunburned, take the t-shirt off. It's white everywhere where the t-shirt is, but it's sunburned everywhere else. Well, it's like that in reverse and it's all over my back, all over my chest and abdomen. It's not where, you know, my bra is and it's absolutely driving me crazy. So I took the t-shirt off, took a shower and, um, put some cornstarch on and I put well I put some cortisone hydrocortisone anywhere where I could reach of course I can't reach my whole back and it's that's where it just hurts the most um, so I'm miserable I'm absolutely miserable but the good thing is the bug spray because it's got witch hazel in it and it has peppermint in it spray a little bit of that on and it soothes it so at least there's that right um, so hopefully it'll go away soon. It's just, oh, it's driving me crazy. Anyhow, so Donna and her daughters were going to come down. They were supposed to be here Thursday and leave Saturday. Well, it's very, very muddy. It's miserable out here. And so they're going to, we're going to reschedule the visit. And there's also news about Judy. And it's good news. I had talked to Donna. And I had been thinking a lot about Judy and how much Christina and Miss Donna have fallen in love with Judy. And they have. And um, Judy has kind of become their dog. So I asked her, if there is any part of you that wants to keep this dog, let me know now. And I think Christina was pretty elated. Um, you know, I think Donna is too because they both love her so much. So they are going to keep Miss Judy. Now, I know how much you guys all love her. Um, I love her too. And the one thing about Papa is he doesn't like to snuggle. Um, he doesn't like to, he'll, he'll take hugs from you and wants to jump up in your lap, but he doesn't like to get up in the bed and snuggle. So that is something that I'm really, really going to miss. But she is in a safer situation, I think, there than she would be on this homestead because Judy is a dog you can't contain unless you have a very high fenced-in yard that is escape-proof. Um, out here, um, I had already made the decision that I couldn't keep her tied up. I can't keep her tied up and keep Papa by my side. That would be wrong. Judy would run. She would shoot across the street. And she's very fast. And she would just keep running, you know. <laughs> Good morning, Romeo. If um, if Judy started running and she didn't find other dogs to play with, she would keep running until she found other dogs. And I don't think she would know how to get home. Um, it's just a thing with her. So they they want to keep her, and I think that they they are the right home for Judy. I may end up getting another dog eventually, um, not right away. I've got so much going on with the chickens, and um, I may end up taking Mr. Lucas' baby chicks once his hen hatches them out, 
and raise them up for a little bit um, so he doesn't have to worry about the baby chickens. I don't know. He, we may still be able to work it out where he can let his mama hen raise the chickens, but we're not sure about that yet. So Judy is going to be staying with Donna and Christina, and I'm. it's another one of those bittersweet moments like it was yesterday with the Leghorns, but I think that she will receive better care with them. And it's become very clear that Judy considers Christina and Donna her, her family now. Um, it would be really heartbreaking to have them come all the way down here and drop off Judy and then have Judy throw a fit because she wanted to go back home with them. So I think it's going to be a good thing. So I'm going to teach Miss Donna and Christina how to do videos and hopefully they'll start their own YouTube channel and make it about Judy and maybe just their life. It's not that hard to do. I think that they would be great and from all the stories that Donna has been telling me about this adorable dog Judy, I think that she would make a great subject of a YouTube channel. So anyhow, um, this is just going to be today's video. I'm miserable. I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, I'm going to take some Benadryl because that's about the only thing that gives me relief is oral Benadryl and um, it makes me drowsy so I'm going to go to sleep and hopefully when I wake up this rash, this rash will be gone. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. It's so weird. I mean, it stops right where the t-shirt ends, <laughs> stops right here. My arms are fine, but um, it's especially on my back because... Oh, it just ditches. Anyhow, I'm going to go take off and, um, well, I'll just see you in the next video. All right. Take it easy. I didn't, I didn't do my outro right. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. <laughs>